I am really, really struggling today with you leaving. Oh. I really have, I'm having a very, very difficult time today. And I'm trying to be funny in between us, not talking about Melissa, and I'm just a phony today. I'm just a total phony. So uh, I wrote Grown this for- Grown men can't cry. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It makes Grown it even worse. Cry. I can't take it, Bert. <laughs> but I, I well, I, I mean, God, I mean, what, uh, what an honor to be able to have my boss react this way. So thank you. Well, it's more than a boss thing. It's You're my friend. And the longer we've been hanging out, the more I've, I've gotten closer to you in a personal way and respected you. And I wrote this yesterday, and it started yesterday for you me. You would not let started... me write anything, and you wrote something. That's <laughs> not fair. As I've said for years, <laughs> just because I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> that yeah, doesn't mean I'm wrong. Bert told me off air because I told him, I said, well, maybe I'll write something down to say on Friday. And he said, no, you can't write anything down. I just said it didn't seem <laughs> genuine coming from her. If she like made a statement about how she feels, and <laughs> this is exactly what I did. Okay. <laughs> Today is one of the most difficult days of my professional and personal career. Today I realize that I won't be seeing one of my friends every day anymore. Today I realize I won't hear Melissa Carter's unique bellowing laugh every day anymore. Melissa Carter is an original. She's not a copy of anybody. What I've loved about her for 10 years are the same things I'm always going to love about her. She's authentic. She lives by her own rules. She blazes her own personal path. In your deepest sadness, I've seen you act with dignity, but never false bravado. Instead of coiling during dark times, you publicly shared your experience, and I am grateful that I could be a student during your life lessons. Melissa's been vulnerable, but rarely weak. She knows her strength. She knows herself, but is aware of her limitations. Your exit from The Burt Show perhaps highlights all your most admirable features. You've shown self-awareness in knowing that you're ready for the next chapter of your life. You've shown courage by taking a chance without a safety net. You've shown integrity by being honest with everybody around you. You're living your life with authenticity, and there are very few people I know that can say that. You can leave here knowing that you've touched the lives of so many. Yeah, the people in the studio, that's obvious. But more important, those you've never met, those that you've challenged to rethink and look at their life differently, or those that you'll never meet that at some point might have been comforted or supported by your words. After today, the first person I see every morning will be someone other than Melissa Carter. That's true. She's the fir- My wife is sleeping. <laughs> and my kids aren't up yet. I don't see anybody. The first person I have seen in my life for the last 10 years is Melissa Carter. And starting on Monday, that's going to be a different face. Today, I am sad. I am deeply sad, but I am so grateful for every second you've spent contributing to this show's success. And I can genuinely say you've made me a better person. And I thank you for that. Thank you, Bert. Sweet. With Bert, I, I mean, we've talked before, but you, I would never be who I am without you. And uh, I hope I'm the employee that you wanted when you hired me. Um, Bert hired me in his yellow Jeep up 400. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and every time I passed the big chicken in Marietta here in Georgia, that's where I had my first appearance with the Burt Show. I was at the big chicken. I'm very proud of that. Um, <laughs> Literally two people came to it. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Was but, it you and Melissa? That was, those were the two. <laughs> yes. So, but Bert is... Um, Bert is someone who I hope, I want, not only am I proud of him, I want him to be proud of himself. Because I think that one thing that I feel about Bert is he came from from a place where nobody gave him a chance. And he has evolved into a man who is wanting so much to give other people chances that he didn't get. And that's something to be very proud of. And, uh, I, you know, and I think that... Uh, I don't know. You've become the man you wanted to be. And sometimes I don't know if you realize that. And so I just want to say that uh, I'm proud to call you my friend. And thank you so much for all of this.